Yeah, yeah. It's Saucy from TV, yo. We got the Fixinator in the house. What's up, Fixinator? Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, world? This is Fixinator straight out the 014, straight out of Mouth Town. You know what it is. Yeah, man, Fix, tell us a bit about yourself. Yo, um, I'm Fixinator. I'm a producer. Uh, I make beats. Um, an engineer. Uh, I make some master. Uh, I don't know. I technically do all these things. I'm straight out of math. I'm straight out of Mohase originally. Yeah. But um, rusty dusty um, right yeah, there. Rusty dusty <laughs> on the map. You know what? Oh one four baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, started producing way back when I was still young, probably nine, ten, eleven, I think. Um, influenced by a guy named K Force. He lived right in front of my house, so he always made beats. Still makes beats for Loren Authentic and Huge the Oracle, Ujax and all that. And he just started playing me beats, so I found interest in that. And ever since, I just started making beats and all that. Starting with Fruity Loops 10, I, I remember I started with Fruity Loops 10. I still have the picture, I can link it up on my social media for y'all yeah. to see if y'all need it. And yeah, came here in Muff Town. Met a couple of niggas, met a couple of guys, um, like Worms. Um, came here in Math Town because uh, I, I came here for school. I'm technically in um, Northwest University doing my third year now in computer science, but still killing the music on the side. So no, that's dope. Trying to, that's dope. Still trying to balance everything and all that. So, yeah, I met um, people like Enzo. I met people like Worms. Shout out to Worms now. Shout out to Scissors for helping me out. Yeah. You know, ever since they just grew my music, they grew me. Okay. They grew me. So what does Scissors do for for the fixinator? Um, Scissors is basically kind of like a mini mini independent label for me because um they provide everything that I technically need. They help me out. They help me out shape my music, shape um how I craft my music, how I I project everything that people hear right now. You know, with the right. tape, everything that people hear, all the growth, I just get it from scissors. All right. Yeah. So the the I'm responsible for your management too? Yeah, yeah. They're responsible for my management. Um yeah. Worms is my manager. Enzo is basically in the background. Okay. Doing all the work. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to Dega too. He's also um part of the team. Yeah. So how would you define your music to us? Uh, my music is basically, I don't know. I don't think I particularly have a gender, but I make anything that just is musical. I am a very musical dude. I Wait, to... dude, I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. Um, are you a producer or are you an artist or are you both? I am everything. Nice. I, am, I am music packed in a man right here. Music personified right here. Music right here. The fixing name. Because I, I, would, I would literally hop on a beat right now and try to add a verse, a hook. Um, you know, an outro, ad libs to that, an idea, and still mix it and master everything. Make sure like the sound is all intact. Damn, you know, you are an all in <laughs> one. Just one drum machine. Think of me as a drum machine. Damn, you just load ideas into me, and then I just do everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm technically it, dead. Where, where, uh, or when rather did your love for music um, begin? Like I said earlier, um, back when I was in around grade nine, I just started hanging out with K Force a lot. He taught me a lot about Fruity Loops in general. He taught me a lot about production, music, you know, how to keep your music um, musical, how to make music musical. I remember I used to also ask beats from him just so I jump on them because I felt like my beats were weaker than his at some point yeah. but then I realized that he was only trying to help me to become better he was only trying to help me shape my music and make it kind of like vibey okay. to build me as the person who I am right now so big shout out to Skate Force right there yeah <laughs> music wise yeah yeah um any projects um um um, you're busy with um, right um, now? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's technically a lot of projects right now. I'm releasing my beat tape on the 25th of November. It's called Spirit Friend. It's coming out on iTunes. It's coming out on um, uh, what other stores are there? There's YouTube too. There's Spotify. There's, there's Spotify. I didn't put it on a lot of stores mm -hmm. because I just feel like hey, it's too much heat. It's too much heat for yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't put it on a lot of stores. Just get it there yeah okay it's just that and then trend is also working on a project um i don't think he's decided the, the title yet but yeah things phases prelude something like that yeah. but something along those lines expect to hear a take from trendy soon i also have a take ready for y'all haven't decided on the title yet because i'm still working on other songs and all that but yeah okay that's that so do you prefer to work alone or do you get um do you have um guys that you work with that you plug into your um your songs yeah i i prefer i prefer to work with people because i feel like i've worked alone my whole entire life ever since i was young right now is the time to explore you know with the knowledge that i have right now i feel like i need to spread it out with like a lot of producers people like sxm help me out too you know people like a lot of producers i just want to try to teach people what i know and just make good music all the time yeah i just want to make good music now soulful music yeah now tell me here because now you're 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 an artist right yeah and um, you're a producer yeah um what if i say um i call you up and say now nah, um i want to plug the fix um the fix nita um and say one of my tracks right yeah and you don't um particularly feel the beat because you're a producer oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, what would happen in that scenario would you want to be on some now uh, <laughs> let, let me take over the production here i don't know i'm 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 a very blunt person yeah. i don't know i feel like uh whims has taught me how to be a very blunt person so i i i'm gonna go straight to the point and tell you straight up that the beat is not fire so i'm not hopping in yeah yeah we try to make another one Try to make the person pay for the beat so that we work on a proper song. You know, business as usual. Business as usual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, have you um produced um for other artists? Um, yeah, I have produced for a lot of artists, including uh BOG. I have people like Trendy. I have people like Loreno Fentic. I have people like Wabuti Baba Goody in the picture. I have people like DJ Slim. Um, I have people like um. Uh, people like sxm there's there's really a lot there's really a lot even back in my hood back in mohwase i have a lot of people like um like i says k force is one of them too i still work with that guy um i still work with c c um said nigga scissor i still work with um still work with um Riley, yeah, yeah, I remember you, dog. I remember you. <laughs> so yeah, they still, they, they still my homies till today. You know, Salvage, still fuck with y'all niggas. OJ yeah. Flames, the whole Empire Sweat gang. Yeah, still, I still hold it down for y'all niggas. Yeah, you, know? you just mentioned like a catalog of artists, bro. Yeah, that's from a lot. from like trap to Guaito to everything, bro. Like I said, I am just musical. I like, I like being myself just being lost in the sauce lost in the sound just doing my own stuff you know i could literally go from patrick lee type of trap to um jaden type of trap to um bongo muffin type steez you yeah. know drums on i just go ham i just go crazy yeah <laughs> um so what would you say um about the 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 misconception people have about trap music I feel like uh, people are still lost. The people who are having a misconception about trap music are still lost in the old hip hop, you know, your 50 Cent type of hip hop, your um, Tupac type of hip hop, your Wu Tang Clan type of hip hop. So I feel like it's only about appreciating music as a whole. You don't always have to stick to trap music. You don't have to have to like label trap music as this type of gender as this type of feel you know 
trap music, I feel like trap music is just a feeling. I know from the originality of trap music, trap music was meant to be, uh, you know, music from the hood, music that um, people made while they were cooking the crack, you know, making all the street work, you know, yeah, all that hustling yeah. in the streets. But now it's now evolved to a point whereby trap music is now a feeling. You know, yeah, yeah. It's, so I feel like it, it's all in the music. Music is a feeling as a whole. Yeah, yeah. Would you um, regard trap music as a trend, or rather as music that's here to stay? I I feel like it's definitely music that's here to stay. Although music keeps switching up at a certain time and level, but yeah, I feel like trap music is here to stay. Just like. It stayed when Gucci Mane was here making all this trap music, when Chief Keef was here making all this trap music. We're still doing this trap music even now. So I feel like it's 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 music that's also here to stay. You know, you can have a legendary song, a legendary trap song, a trap song that's made by someone who's urban now with like trap beats, trap drums, you know, your spins, 808s and all that. Yeah. So I feel like it's 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 historical music too, you know. It's yeah. all in the feeling. Music is a feeling. Yeah. So yeah. One way. Yeah. Um do you have support um in terms of your music? Um does your family um support you um in your musical journey? Um yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. My family supports me with everything, literally everything. I could, I remember first year I had um, a beat making competition in Joburg in um, JNB Hive. It was a beat makers market type of thing. So I made it to um, the first leg of the competition. So mm -hmm. immediately then, I remember I got an email on Thursday. So I called my mom to tell her, yo, mom, um, I need money. I need money and like quick. I have a beat, ma a beat makers competition that I have to go and attend like in a couple of hours and all that. So she was like, no problem. You know, as long as you're going to do what you love and still like take care of yourself, I support you strongly. I remember my dad was also like, hey man, like just one day when you get on that big ass stage, I want to be there on the front row. So I was like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I have I have a lot of support. Even the people around here in Mafi Gang, the music that we make, they listen to it. They love it. I've seen the performances that we make. You know, it's all rage. It's all love. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I have a lot of support from different kinds of people. Yeah. So yeah. Any guys you want to work with in 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 the future? Um. I don't know. I feel like could be guys around from around Muff Town, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like since I'm the producer, I become the jack of all trades. I decide who becomes uh, dope, who becomes dope on a dope beat. You know, after all, I'm the one who decides where the beats are made. You know, yeah. if the song is a hit or what, I'm the one who gets to decide that. So I feel like yeah, I would have. A lot of people ranging from, okay, I'm already working with BOG. He was the first person on the list immediately when I got here in Mafi Gang. Yeah. So um, I feel like um, also, I don't know. I'm, I'm not into a lot of artists from like around here because I feel like people are not making the music they were supposed to be making back then, you know. I feel like selection music is the type of thing. I'd rather make a lot of game music mm -hmm. and then um, start making a set. You know, I'm a DJ, I'm a producer. I'm supposed to be knowing how to be a DJ so mm -hmm. that I play my set. You know, when I say this is a fixinated show, I expect to be playing fixinated music and all fixinated music throughout the whole set. So I feel like that's where artists in South Africa, mainly in the world internationally, should be doing these days. Yeah. You know, to express your art, especially producers. You should be like taking out your music, play out your music in the club, play it to masses, you know, yeah. let the people feel your music. So I feel like, yeah, I'm that type of guy. I I don't mainly have a lot of people that I want to work with, but just explore myself, explore different ways that I can 
like come up with just packing the heat, you know. Yeah. Although, yeah, mainstream niggas. Yeah. yeah I, I have a lot of niggas that I would like to like, put it on for, you know. Yeah. A lot of beats, you know. Producers, especially mainly producers. SXM. I have. Um, okay, I'd like to work with uh, Big Liz. A uh, Big Liz. Um, I have. Uh, shit. Okay, yeah. I yeah. think I think that's that's enough for now. Okay, Mesh beats too. I think Mesh would be dope artist to fuck around with too. Yeah. Mesh is really good. Okay, yeah, Marco too. And yeah. I feel like yeah, that's that's the range of artists that I would really you, like to you'd work wanna with work personally. with, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where can people get you in your socials? Um, you can get me on Facebook, it's Fixinator, on SoundCloud, it's Fixinator, on um, Instagram, it's DJ underscore Fixy, and on Twitter, it's D at Fixinator. Yeah! That's what's up, on YouTube too, you get me on Fixinator. Shit. Big shout out, big shout out to my niggas, big shout out to Tabakes, big shout out to Wimbo, big shout out to... My nigga Candy, big shout out to the clan, big shout out to my girl, big shout out to my mama, big shout out to my fam, big shout out to Babu D, you know, yeah, big shout out, Wimson yeah. Production, Scissors, we in here, big shout out Digger, thank you for the opportunity, bro. Yeah. Love ya. There you have it, it's Saucy Fun TV, yo. We had the fix the need in the house. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, for future content, baby. Thank you for your time, the fix the nader. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's yeah. What's up. Thank We're you for out. The opportunity. We out.